Hey, what's up guys? I'm Bright Torian and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 as we are playing as Japan. Alright, so uh, last episode we discovered that our puppet is more than likely going to be going, uh, trying to declare independence from us soon. And I've kind of been waffling on whether we should wait until they declare independence and then invade China. Uh, you know, so we don't have them attacking us from the back. Uh, but you know what guys, we'll get a little notification up here that they're, you know, once they start doing it, that they're forming a war goal on us, and they'll give us 70 days to, to react to it. That's plenty of time, and we just don't know what they're going to do. Just because they're going independent doesn't mean they'll go immediately. I've seen them take, like, they'll go down this branch, and then they'll take years, years to go and actually get the independence war. So we could literally be just sitting here waiting for them for who got, who knows how long. So we're not going to. Uh, we're not going to let them dictate the uh, the pace of this campaign just because they want to, to declare independence. Uh, so what we're going to go ahead and start out with is getting some of these guys trained because we have infantry equipment, we have manpower, uh, and what we're lacking right now is uh, artillery and, and motorized uh, as well as support equipment. And these divisions don't require any of that. So we're just going to go ahead and get like 10 of these, um, you know, for like defensive purposes and to cover our islands and stuff like that. Uh, so, yeah, we'll go ahead and get those guys building now and give them something to, to do there. Uh, we also have a bit of experience to make uh, some adjustments. And I want to say, let me just double check on that. I want to say we have tanks. Yeah, we have tanks. So we could go ahead and add uh, another tank uh, battalion to here. And let me see if there's anything else that we can add to them. Uh, well, we could go ahead and get them a regon company so they go a bit faster. We do have some port equipment troubles, but you know what? I'm willing to, to make an adjustment here, I suppose. Uh, let's go ahead and add, uh, we'll probably do the armored uh, recon company. Let's go ahead and add that, and then save it, and that'll result in those three divisions we have uh, needing a bit more training. I want to say they're already in a training army, though. Uh, these guys could train up. Just take a look and see where our tanks are at. Uh, so they're over here and over here, so we'll have to train those two. Uh, but yeah, I think we'll just, we're just going to declare war, guys, on China. So we're going to go ahead and go down um, this route here. We got the spiritual mobilization. Uh, so next, we're just going to go with the Marco Polo Bridge incident and uh, go ahead and go to war with China uh, and try and get the war started, you know, fairly, fairly early. Uh, but not as early as I wanted, uh, but I don't, I don't want to wait any longer, guys. Uh, I want to get this war started with them. Uh, so that we can focus on other affairs. Uh, and I feel like we're in a good enough position, guys. This is, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> could always be better, but I mean, you could always wait forever for things to be better. Uh, so this would hopefully allow us to finish up the war uh, against Spain as well. That's, that's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping we can get it done quickly. Uh, we'll see. Uh, we need to, it's just the car list right now is the last one to defeat. Uh, and we actually just got tanks done, so we'll have to get those uh, building. Now, I do want to get self-propelled artillery, but there's no point on getting them now because we're, we're short on, uh, really short on factories right now. So I think what we should probably do since we're about to go to war is get passive bonuses. There's also 1938 text, so we should probably do that, actually. Let's do the 1938 text. Go ahead and start with that. Uh, and then we want to change up our light tanks over here. And we have the carrier fighters. Uh, did I get those building yet? We do not. So we need to place them down here. And they'll get the next fa uh, military factory that we finish up. Also, I think we might build a little bit less infrastructure here, guys, because we don't need as much as much steel. And if we conquer these guys, we'll get steel. And then conquering China, we'll get a steel as well. Uh, so we'll just give give uh, two more uh, because, yeah, I want to start building some military factories and stuff. So I think that's fine. Uh, we'll just get that infrastructure up. And these guys are done as well. Uh, so what we want to do is throw them into this blue army here and get them moving on over to here. So yeah, we'll, we'll just do the naval invasion, guys, and, and see how things go. Uh, hopefully uh, hopefully everything goes well. Uh, I want to get the, the Blue Army up to 24 divisions. We'll see if we can get those produced or not. Uh, we actually have... Oh, yeah, that's right. We have these two motorized. Okay, we'll move them over there as well. Uh, do we want any more over here? Ah, we got two motorized. I feel like that's fine. Speed isn't going to be as important over there because I don't even think we'll be able to break through here. Uh, it's all going to be based on these uh, these naval invasions. Uh, the naval invasions are successful, then uh, then we'll uh, pull off a lot of divisions from uh, the the main front line there, and the other guy will come on down here. All right, excellent, and he'll help out with that one. Really want to expand out this way as fast as we can. 
All right, uh, so we currently have 19 divisions in that blue army. I'm really hoping we can get up to the full 24. If we finish up the Spanish Civil War, then here's three more, and that gets us up to 22. Let's we'll see. Let's see if we can get it done or not. Uh, so these guys are here. We want to wait until they get their organization and planning bonuses back up, and then we're going to attack the capital. Uh, just give them a little bit of time here. And let's see how they're looking. Looking good. Let's go and do the attack. Grab the capital, come over here, and split the country in half. Uh, and then what we'll do is we're going to send both these guys over this way. So it would have been a little, a little bit quicker going that way. And the French communists take power. All right, so the French are now communists. Uh, I assume that they're going to join the common turn. And so I don't think we'll have an allied faction. There might not be a democratic faction at all. Uh, there could very well not be a democratic faction until the Americans create one in the late game. Uh, I think we're going to have uh, the two main factions will be the Axis and the common turn. And they'll be fighting each other. Uh, it's not going to be that much different, other than the fact that the British are probably going to be allied with the, the Axis. Uh, that's going to be the main difference, because you're still going to have the French and the, the Soviet Union on the same side, helping each other out. Uh, so that's the main difference, is that the British will be on a different side. And then I assume any democratic countries that Germany attacks would then also join the Comintern, since they would already be at war with them. That's what I expect to happen. We'll, we'll have to see. We'll see you guys. Alright, so we have one there. Let's go ahead and now go after this port here and we'll send one more division and then where's this guy let's have him come on over to this province and uh, this one's defended here so i'm not too worried about it all right go after that port and now what we'll do is let's focus on getting these troops here wrapped up first uh, you know we'll just make sure that these guys are assigned here We'll wrap up this side uh, first. If we if we destroy all these guys here, that would probably end up being enough to force them to capitulate. We'll keep one division on this side. Make sure that they don't uh, reconnect it would be the main point here. Uh, what we'll probably do is have them come over here and attack this way. All right, so let's just keep on pushing forward. Uh, they actually are attacking, trying to reconnect them there, so it's good that we sent a division here. We've got the oil processing. Should help us out quite a bit there. Uh, and we are going to go ahead and go after uh, 1938 techs. We need to get the uh, radar for those ships. I really want that. Uh, see what else that we can get, though, before we do. Uh, I don't think the rubber processing would be... Uh, yeah, I don't think that'd be all that helpful. We do need to get the improved machine tools. I suppose we'll go after that next. I don't think this would be all that helpful because we don't really have very many synthetic refineries, so it's going to get us, like, a couple of rubber. It's just not going to be worth it, I don't think. Uh, we could go ahead and get... Some other stuff building, guys. Uh, let me take a look and see how we're doing on things. Uh, I'm still not going to trade for more rubber, not, not until we get up to at least three. Uh, we could trade for more oil. To, again, just try and stockpile this a little bit quicker. Uh, so let's go and do that. And then we're going to go ahead and, and get the uh, factories working on uh, building military factories and dog yards. Uh, so we're currently at 21 military factories. So let's build four more military factories. I have 100% one there. Nice. We'll build there. Uh, and then maybe let's go two more in, in these two provinces. Then after that, we'd go ahead and get some some dockyards building. Uh, so let's go with again just in these two areas, and that'll be good for now. I keep them busy for a while. All right, uh, so let's go ahead and try and see if we can't finish this up in Spain. All right, so he's gonna go. I don't know if he'll be able to beat him there. Let's see. Uh, we get there in. Three days and eight hours. Good God, that's slow as hell. All right. Yeah, I, I don't really want to attack him there. But for whatever reason, we're moving much, much slower than him. Uh, but we can win there, so we'll keep it going. And we'll just support with this this guy here. Uh, and they are trying to reconnect him here. Let's go and attack him, because no point of cutting him off, because they'll still have the port. Glad I left the division over here to kind of help take care of some stuff for us. We need to get this separated here so they can't reconnect it by just attacking one province. Also some issues there. A lot of issues, frankly. Uh, doesn't look like this is going to work either. All right. Uh, well, let's go ahead and take that airbase then. Yeah, I'll do that. We'll have to, we're going to have to eventually probably attack this guy. He's trying to reconnect here. That's not good. Though if we win there... Yeah, we'll have to go up this way, guys. And they didn't quite reconnect it, but they did cut us off. So that's bad. All right. Problems, guys. Problems. Let's go this way instead. Reconnect this. And let's see how the best way to do this would be. This connects it here. But you know what? Let's just attack him over there. 
make sure that he can't come over here and stop us. And let's just stop that attack. Not wear, wear ourselves out while we're currently uh, cut off from supply. Uh, so we did get uh, some dockyards finished building. Okay, so I think we just finished up our aircraft carrier. Yes, sir. All right, well, let's go ahead and do another one, guys. Uh, let's get, oops, you know what? I forgot, we probably have uh, at least one adjustment. Uh, I know that we have the secondary battery. So we'll get that, and I think that's it. All right, so let's go and save that and get a building. Oops. Check them up to the top and give them their dockyards, and we're gonna pull back on the cruisers a bit. And let's just build one more, make sure that their designs are good, and then get them coming on over here. All right, excellent. Uh, so we're gonna need to train these ships up. Let's go ahead and do that now, and pull the my cruisers out. All right, excellent. So when do we get our national focus? Uh, it's gonna be 13 more days. All right, so we have reconnected them, and that's all it took uh, to get the win there. So we are gonna get our volunteers back. Uh, excellent, all right, so this is this is great. Uh, so I feel like we should be able to go to war with China this episode, which is great. Um, uh, it's gonna be a, a bit later than I had initially wanted. I was I was wanting like a late 1937 when we started the, the campaign. It's, it's gonna be a, uh, probably mid-1938, uh, so a bit later than I, I had wanted. Uh, which gave China a lot more time to repair, but frankly, we kind of needed the time to repair ourselves. Uh, so, especially using the motorized. Again, if I if I don't do that route, if you just do like infantry and marines and stuff, then you can actually start the war much sooner. Uh, but you know, obviously, we didn't go that route. We could go and get the radar now, uh, so we can put those onto the ships. Uh, but yeah, we wouldn't get them. We wouldn't get them in time for those those battleships that are about to complete. Uh, so I, I think we're just going to work on passive bonuses since we're going to war against the uh, Chinese soon. So let's go and start working on the grand uh, battle plan. I think that will be helpful. It looks like we're about to finish up uh, another passive tech as well. Uh, so let me just make sure everything is set up and good to go. I mean, it looks like it. It looks like we're good. We're just waiting for our volunteers to come back. We'll throw them back into the blue army. We'll increase them up to 22 divisions. We did get the spiritual mobilization. So I suppose we're gonna go after the Marco Polo bridge incident. Uh, we could wait to get the army experience first though. It would take even longer though. Uh, one advantage though, that would give us the army experience to make some adjustments to our divisions. Also allow us to get uh, the equipment shortages, you know, better dealt with. We're still short 1.3 thousand. So you know what guys, that's exactly what we're gonna do. Uh, let's go ahead and get the army expansion law for that army experience since we're not in the Spanish Civil War anymore so we can't get army experience that way and then we'll go after the Marco Polo, Marco Polo bridge incident. Uh, so we'll get that one. We need to get that one any, anyways if we want to go down the the army branch. Got the uh, firefighting drills. Let's see what we'd like to get next. I think we're just going to continue going down here. Those are so useful to have because those uh, uh, critical hits are are, you know, they take a long time to repair. They're devastating. Uh, let's go ahead and get the next battleship going. Uh, I assume, yeah, we have to make some some changes here because we built those when we had the, the lower cost, uh, maximum production cost. So now this will allow us to make quite a few adjustments. We don't have any anti-air here yet. Uh, I don't know, I looked at the engine, I knew we didn't have that. We got the secondary battery. We do have better battleship armor though. And let's go ahead and go. These are gonna be slow no matter what I do guys. So I'm just gonna keep it above 25 is the goal here. Let's go ahead and go with secondary battery. And I think we're gonna take the anti-air out as well. We're just gonna to have to rely on uh, other ships to provide anti-air coverage. Uh, the battleships here are just gonna focus on, um, you know, until we get the, the dual purpose, um, you know, guns. They just have to focus on a light attack. I think it'd be more useful having them for that. All right, so. I think this is this is good to go. Yeah, I don't see any other adjustments you've made. Let's go and save that and get them building. And we'll go ahead and just build one, and we have yeah just enough dockyards here. Uh, so let's get them assigned, and then we'll also want to get that battleship training up so they'll have full training for whenever uh, we go to war with the Americans. All right, so. Since we're not, uh, I guess we got those volunteer forces back. 
Since we're not declaring war on China just yet, because we're going for the army expansion law, I won't worry about the ships. Let's just hurry up and try and get that focus done. Keep this on fast forward. Uh, but first, let's assign these guys. Um, what we're going to want to do is take one of the infantry and have them go here. Actually, we'll do... Oh, we have two infantry. That's right. All right, so let me see how we're doing as far as motorized goes. We have two motorized there and three over here. So the motorized Everybody definitely has to come over here. Oh, okay, we have another two here. I didn't move them all the way down. All right, uh, they're actually, yeah, they're right there. Uh, so that'll give us uh, five motorized here uh, for two separate naval invasions. So let's go ahead and go, this guy will go here as well. And then we'll send one infantry here. And then we're gonna bring uh, this guy over to here, which will give us a total of six divisions uh, for that attack. All right, awesome. So, 70 days before we can work on the Marco Polo Bridge incident, and then from there, another 70 days. And we have the region-wide industrial integration. Is there anything else? Yeah, because we're not doing that just yet. That's it. Uh, and we have these guys, which are going to go over here. They should still be training up. Yes, sir. Uh, we could make a adjustment to our division design, and I, I think we will. Let's give them the, the field hospitals here. And then we'll have to train them up. Uh, so that's another thing is that we were able to get more stuff for our, our division designs. Uh, that's another helpful thing about us taking a little bit longer uh, to actually go at war with them. Looks like the tanks needed to be trained anyways. Uh, we got the excavation too. Excellent. Uh, so we are done here for right now. Let's go ahead and go after... I, I think I'm going to go ahead and do the radar just so we have those for the ship so I don't, I don't forget about it. Uh, and we are not going to develop this. Uh, I think we're all right on aluminum for right now. Uh, just barely. Uh, we will need that eventually. Uh, but for right now, we're okay. Uh, let's go ahead and pull back uh, on the uh, steel trading. And this right here should make it so we don't need to trade for steel at all anymore. Yeah, eventually. Uh, we might be a little bit short, but not enough to trade for, I think. Because I think that gets us two more steel. And Poland just declared war on Lithu Lithuania. All right, um, I'm guessing they asked Lithuania to join their faction and Lithuania said no. And so they said, fine, we'll force you into the faction. Uh, so I assume Poland's gonna win that one. And uh, with us out of the Spanish Civil War, we should be able to make very good time now and uh, kind of take a look at what they're working on. Uh, they're reforming the civil service. So that's the last one they can get down here. If they go for the Independence War, then we'll have to stop with our plans to go to war with China. Uh, but again, I, I don't know if they're going to do that, so I'm not willing to wait. Um, I mean, we'll just have to see. Like, do we get that around the same time? Are we going at the same pace? It looks like it. So we'll better see what they work on next, and that'll kind of determine what we decide to work on. Uh, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they don't. Uh, every time I've seen them go independent, it's always like early 40s, early 1940s. Uh, so I don't think they actually go... Uh, for that focus immediately. Uh, if they go for it and they get the war goal, or I think it doesn't even do a war goal, yeah, forces conflict. Uh, so yeah, if they go for it, then we'll know that we're getting the war. Uh, so we can deploy units. We also have the ability to modify our government. Uh, let's see what we should get here. You know what? We're building uh, military factories and dockyards, so war industrialists. That's what we'll get. Let us build those much quicker. Uh, these guys are ready to deploy. Uh, let's go ahead and deploy them. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to send some of them over here just in case the Chinese get jumpity and we need to uh, fight here. So what we'll do is we'll take um, uh, five of them and move them on over here. Uh, and they can continue training while they're there. And then the other five divisions, we're going to move those over to you know some of these islands that aren't uh, yet defended. I think we have... This guy can come over here and actually defend the port. Uh, let's make sure yeah, he's defending the port. Just make sure all our islands get uh, defended. Uh, maybe have divisions here in the homeland. Maybe we'll, we'll keep uh, one here to defend the homeland. Uh, make sure that they can't attack Tokyo. I mean, obviously, nobody's. You know, they're not going to, and China's not going to. Uh, but, you know, just to have them here uh, because we knew we we're going to need them eventually. So, might as well train them now. Uh, we could also go ahead and get the rest of these islands uh, covered. Let me just see if there's anything. Yeah, I think this is it right here. So we have that one covered, that one covered. This one needs to be. Let's make sure we cover all these islands so nobody will be able to, you know, once we go to war with the Americans, 
A little bit of just take an island without having to fight for it. Uh, and this guy... These guys can move. Alright, that looks good. Uh, we do need to take take uh, a division and sign them there. I'm sure we'll build more of these guys. In fact, we can go ahead and build them now, since again, they don't have any equipment that we don't have. Uh, so yeah, we can go ahead and get like another five divisions, that's fine. Alright. And uh, we're, we're good on manpower. Um, it looks like we didn't make up for the, the manpower that we lost. Yeah, it seems like we never got it back. You know, that when we got that one manpower, um, you know, problem going to total mobilization. And uh, I know that it is a 0.5% difference here, but yeah, that was hundreds of thousands of manpower lost there. Uh, so uh, Lithuania has already capitulated, and now Poland is called the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth. Uh, so they have restored their heritage uh, back from an early modern period. So I think we've seen that happen once or twice, uh, but typically they, they join the factions. The Baltic countries typically will just join the Polish faction and they don't have any issues with it. But yeah, clearly this time they decided they didn't want to be a part of their faction. Uh, we got a military factory done. Uh, remember we are building all of these uh, uh, factories and we'll probably just have to place it into motorized because we're still just too damn short there. Uh, I mean, that's, that's really what we're, we're lacking the most on. Uh, still lacking support equipment, too, and artillery. Uh, so those will cause problems once we go to war. But we should have all those dealt with uh, by the time we actually go to war with China. Uh, so let's see what they're working on. We're just going to wait. Remember, it saves up 15 days. The Hungarians just joined the Axis. They're going to do army modernization. So they are not going to do it. Okay. That's what I was thinking. So I'm glad I didn't... Uh, like set up a you know armies to, to you know invade them. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and go after China, guys. Uh, let's do the Marco Polo Bridge incident so we can go to war with China here, uh, which again is is already later than I had had anticipated. Uh, so this will be 68 more days away. So yeah, I mean we don't have to declare war immediately. We we'll want to make sure everything's set up. But I mean for the most part, everybody's set up here. What we could do is go ahead and set up our ships. Uh, uh, we'll, we'll do it like maybe one month before. I mean, really, we really don't even need to do it that quickly. Maybe a week before. Uh, we could even do it once we have the, the war goal. So we've knocked that out. Get more uh, passive bonuses, which would be helpful. We still haven't gotten the uh, airplane catapults yet, which we would want to put on our later ship designs, I'm sure. Uh, but yeah, we can keep doing passive bonuses. We can do the base strike as well, though if we wait to do these, we can get the research bonuses for those, uh, which is helpful to have. Uh, let me just see if there's there's anything else that we really need to work on right now that I'm like neglecting. Uh, I know that we have a lot of passive bonuses that we can get for our troops, and I think that would probably be the best thing to get. You know what, guys? Yeah, that's what we need right now. Uh, let me see what we... We could also get the Marines, uh, their organization and soft attack up. You know what, this one, uh, this is what we'll get here, guys. Because this affects... I think that affects them, too. All the leg infantry bonuses, I think, do apply to the Marines, and I think we got another tech that just finished up here in a couple days as well. Yes, we got the improved machine tools, and since there's nothing else left to get here, uh, again, I think we'll just go for uh, passive bonuses, guys. And I don't think we'll have those for the opening of conflict if we were to declare war uh, immediately, which remember we we get the escalate the war in China decision that we can take. Uh, and we got another military factory, so let's go ahead and get this assigned. I think we're just going to go full 10 onto the motorized, uh, since that's the main thing that we are lacking right now. Uh, though I guess we're actually lacking... No, no, no. Let me take that back. Uh, we are ac actually lacking the support equipment as well. I'd forgotten about that. Yeah, uh, so we'll go ahead and build that. That will cause a little bit of problems for the aluminum. And we are going to also have to trade for rubber, with, uh, trade for rubber with the British. And since they are probably going to be an ally in this one, just going a lot different than I expected. And that's one of the, the nice elements of, of having default, I suppose, or if you just straight up put it on random, uh, rather than, you know, uh, the historical focuses or the predetermined focuses as we usually do. Uh, you get the element of, of uh, you know, randomness, of course, and just not knowing what they're going to do. So you're just surprised. 
Uh, you never know uh, what to expect from them, uh, what to expect from the AI. Uh, so we got another military factory done. Uh, motorized is, is looking much, much better. Let's go and put it into the support equipment. I know this is going to cause some aluminum troubles for our planes. That's fine. Do we have any other uh, planes we could get uh, training up? We have some more naval bombers we can train up. Yeah, let's go and do that. And then we'll also go ahead and train up some close air support. All right, excellent. So let's go ahead and have these two train. Uh, it costs a little bit of fuel, that's okay. We might actually be able to pull some ships out of our training fleet. Let's take a look. Yeah, we got these uh, big ships that can be pulled out. So that's gonna help out a lot, wish I'd seen that. Uh, it's not worth keeping those guys trained for experience. Uh, not the amount of fuel you use. Yeah, you can see how, how big of an impact that made. So we actually should have a little bit of a fuel stockpiled. Now we don't have a very high fuel capacity though. So that's uh, misleading. Uh, you know, the fact that it looks like we're almost full. It's really not that much fuel. Uh, we'll burn through that incredibly quickly uh, without trading for oil, I mean. So we do have uh, our military factories. So let's get these assigned. Uh, let's see what we want to do. Probably into the tanks so we can get those modernized. Although we also need planes too, man. Yeah, we definitely need planes. All right, the next factory, we'll go into the fighters. Make sure we can control the skies. The Chinese have some, some planes, not a lot, uh, but a few. I think this is only impacting ships. Yeah, I think this is fine. We'll just leave it. I, I want the civilian factories building. Uh, we need to get those dockyards done and we need more military factories too. Uh, this will get us up to 26. So after we finish these two dockyards, let's get, um, Let's see here. I have three more. I get us up to 30 total military factories. Uh, so let's let's actually have. Well, that got messed up. Let's go ahead and do it this way. Let them uh, continue building that, and then so hopefully we'll have that in time for the war. And then we'll get one of those 80% locations. And these guys can join that army there. And again, this is going to be the defensive army here. We're not going to invade with these guys. Uh, but all of this is, is really irrelevant, what's going on up here. The important thing is the invasions. That's where you, you get the win, uh, is with the invasions. Uh, so we got the radar, uh, and that means we're done here. Uh, we will want to add those to our ships. Uh, so we'll be doing that here in a second. Let me just... Uh, or at least getting it set up to add them to the ship. Uh, but let's get something selected here. Uh, so we got the passive bonuses there. I think the artillery passive bonus would be the next one. We can get the marine one too. That would be uh, pretty useful to have. Uh, but you know what? Marine, the uh, artillery one impacts more of our divisions. Uh, so we'll use that instead. Uh, and I meant to change up our division designs and I just forgot guys. That's my bad. Uh, we need to change up these tanks. Uh, we need to get them field hospitals. You know what? Let me take a look at the motorized here. They need field hospitals, and we have more of those, and we're, we're relying on them, relying on them, excuse me. So let's go ahead and get those there. Let's go ahead and do field hospitals here as well. And we should probably give them some artillery here. All right, and that'll be all of our experience. And they're not going to have any guns for a little while since we still are uh, short here. Uh, so you can see now support equipment's in the worst position uh, out of everything. Uh, we're not going to make any adjustments. Keep that efficiency as is. Uh, so, I don't need to trade for anything, but we will have to train up. Because uh, you know that some of these divisions are going to be impacted. Like the artillery here will likely be impacted. Let's go and train them. And then, of course, the Marines are going to be impacted as well. Get all these guys trained up. Also, we have this cab division. Um, you know what? Let's just change him over to this design. That'll get us some more uh, manpower and equipment. And there's really just no reason to uh, to be using that at all. Uh, we'll just keep this design here, the cab design, for uh, you know for our garrisons. Uh, so I, I believe we have that assigned uh, for the garrisons. Let me just double check though. And we are doing civilian oversight, by the way, on all these. I haven't really showed this yet. And we currently require twenty-five thousand, and we're getting it all from them. Um, yeah, we are using the, the cab divisions. Excellent. We do need to get them MPs as well, eventually. Uh, Austria has been annexed, and of course, we've gotten our focus done, the Marco Polo Bridge incident. Surprisingly, the Chinese have chosen to back down following the skirmish at the Marco Polo Bridge. Uh, they understand that angering us... Uh, oh shit, I need to open that. They understand that angering us carries a steep price and have agreed to extensive territorial concessions that include Beijing and its surrounding regions. Little by little, China has become ours. All right, so they gave up their territory here. Uh, I, I was thinking that they were going to, uh, uh, you know, actually, um, you know, oppose us. I didn't think they were going to back down. Uh, so that's nice. 
Uh, then we just get the territory. It's just so much easier. And I gotta get the hell out of our territory. So that means we're gonna wanna change everything up here. We're gonna wanna set these guys up to different invasion. Let me just make sure these guys aren't going independent now. Uh, we have to, we just have to constantly, yeah, we just have to constantly watch them. Uh, so let's go to move these guys now. This is gonna change everything up. Uh, because now we have the, the, the border here, which is gonna cause some issues. But again, I wanna get China capitulated. This will be a lot easier. They don't ever back down. That's interesting that it happened that way. Uh, I wonder if it has something to do with the amount of divisions you have on the front. Maybe. I don't actually know. Uh, but yeah, that went very smooth for us. Uh, so we got the Marco Polo Bringens and it done. So we have the anti-communist sweeps, because uh, remember they can infiltrate here. Uh, and if you have the option, I believe that means that they have infiltrated, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, that's something we have to be aware of. Remember, if they, they use this, uh, you know, if they infiltrated here, then that just goes to them and they get units, depending on how uh, much they've infiltrated. So this will tell us how much they have infiltrated. I hate that we'd have to use that instead of getting something here, since we, we need all those, but I would like to know uh, if this territory has any problems. So let's go ahead and do that, because we haven't been under control of it. So the communists could have been working on all this territory the entire time. Uh, so that's something to consider. Uh, these guys need to uh, go somewhere else, clearly. Um, we'll have to do the invasion from right here and just attack that port. And let's go ahead and have them all move over there now. It's really a safer place for them to be anyway if these guys did decide to rebel. Let's take a look. I still haven't picked the national focus. Come on, guys. We saved 15 days worth, so it's not a problem. Okay, so they went after the military academy. So they're getting all these. And then after that, there's there's nothing for them to do except for this one here along this branch. So they might go independent after that. I don't know. It's possible to say. But yeah, now the situation's a bit different. Uh, I think we're going to have to justify a war goal against them. Yeah, uh, so we can quickly conquer them. So, because I don't think there's any other way on here to get that. Yeah, uh, so we'll just have to uh, do the war goal. Uh, we could have done all these here, uh, of course. Um, this has benefits uh, because you get all, all the goodies here, uh, and then when you annex them after you've conquered them, uh, when they rebel, then this would have resulted in us getting all these these lovely goodies. Uh, but of course, when they're rebelling, they also have them. So they would have two civilian factories, two military factories, uh, another two civilian factories. Uh, to to utilize just not the best thing to do when they're uh, rebelling uh, when they're gonna go independent on you uh, and we can't do this when they're not a subject uh, I just don't think it's useful to, to build up in the lands of a, of a country that's gonna rebel on us I mean eventually it will be uh, but there's too much other stuff to get guys uh, so let's see what we want to do next uh, so we could do that one and then allow us to go down this route here i don't think the demand indochina is going to work because the french are went common turn so i don't think that's going to work guys uh we could do the alliance with siam though and that would be helpful uh because once we're at war with the uh the french then they can invade there but it's not going to help us in the war with china uh, so we won't do that not yet so we're not going to go down that route i think we're just going to go ahead and, and go down uh one of these routes so could get the research bonuses those wouldn't really apply until 1940. Uh, we're not getting the Doctrine yet. Uh, again, Fighter 1 wouldn't apply until 1940. So I think instead we should go ahead and get uh, one of these. Now there's two routes to go. Uh, army Expansion, which would give us a, a Chief of Army that we're not going to use. I'm not going to use him. Division Training Time, 15, negative 15%. Yeah, it's, it lets you build troops much quicker, but yeah, I, I just don't think that's uh, as good as our other uh, Chief of Army options here. You know, division recovery rate would probably be the one I'd go for. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we'd go for it. I, I would like the division attack, but he's a specialist, so it's only 5%. It's just not very good. So I, I think the division recovery rate would be the best one to get, and that's what we're going to go for. Uh, so that one is useless. Supremacy of will is a fantastic national spirit. I mean, it's great. That's one of the best national spirits you get. I mean, that's uh, division recovery rate, division attack, division defense. That's great. That's really, really good. Uh, but... All you can do is go and get these two here. Uh, you can get the Bicycle Battalion with Isler Riot. Uh, and that's it. Uh, they only get these two here. Uh, this one's not very helpful. Uh, when we go down this route, we get a research bonus for infantry weapons. 
Uh, we just get a, a flat national spirit, which gives us research bonuses for weapon and equipment research and armor research, so that's great. And then two more research bonuses for support artillery and a research bonus for armor. I just feel like this is, uh, uh, you know, better uh, overall. Uh, because when you're playing as Japan, we're, you know, trying to uh, research naval, land, and air techs. And that really stretches our, your research ability. And I, I feel like it would just it'd be worth it uh, to research faster. So all the divisions have to back up over to here. I don't know how well we'll be able to defend this front, guys, because it's a much wider front. Uh, I'm really surprised they, they backed down on that. I was not expecting that at all. Uh, let's go ahead and deploy these guys now. And what we're going to do is, is guard any islands that still aren't guarded, because that's, that's the main reason why I want these. Um, I think there's only... Okay, that's that province right there. I think there's just the two, if I'm not mistaken. One... Two. Yes. And that's just, of course, to have one division in every province. Obviously, once we're at war with, with America, we're going to need more than that. Uh, this is just a temporary thing. Just so we have them here. Oh, it looks like I, I miscounted. There's one right here as well. Okay, that's fine. And we'll take him and sign him. You know what I should have done? <laughs> yeah, this is silly. Let's go and have all these guys join here. That's smart, uh, far smarter. And he's going there, so this one needs to go here. And then with these two, they can then join this front. Since I don't think we have enough to cover the entire front now. Well, it's hard to say. Uh, 14, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. Uh, so we did have just enough divisions for each uh, province. This will give us two extra ones. But yeah, this here is is going to be rough, man. This is too wide of a front, uh, so it's going to be harder for us to defend that uh, while we wait for our invasions to be successful. Oh yes, we got to we got to get the wargle. I'm over here uh, walking around, guys. Uh, so we can do the take claim state uh, for 95 days here. That'd be 95 days, 19 political power. We can also just do conquer, uh, which would be take a lot longer. So yeah, let's go ahead and do this, guys. Uh, go after Shanghai and. Then we'll just have to do the uh, war goal the normal way, uh, which will be 95 days, guys. Uh, the French Commune abandons the Naval Treaty, as you'd expect. Uh, did we abandon the Naval Treaty? I don't think we did. Is that an option? Yeah, I think we just are cheating on it. Yeah, if we uh, might want to do that. Uh, right now, it's not really impacting us at all. But yeah, I don't see any reason why we shouldn't just spend the 25% the and do it. Because uh, they've already got the escalator clause evoked, and yeah, I mean, it's 25 political power. So we'll leave it to. Uh, again, it's not really impacting us, so maybe that wasn't the best use of my political power, but it's fine. Uh, so this is going to be a, a shorter episode, guys, because, you know, again, uh, you know, I work on Sunday, so this is Monday video. We typically don't have those Monday videos. So. But yeah, sorry it's a shorter one, but I don't have a lot of time. I've already recorded, this is the second video to record today here, so... Uh, you know, recorded both of these videos on Saturday, uh, so therefore, you know, I'm like really pressed on time right now. Uh, I still gotta go to the gym and eat dinner and, and then get ready for work for tomorrow. Uh, so, I don't have a lot of time. Uh, but at least we had a Monday video, guys. It's a bummer we didn't go to war with China this episode, but, you know, they backed down, so, I'm, you know, didn't go quite the way we expected. Uh, we do need to get anti-air and anti-tank, um, but those are not gonna be needed against China, so no reason to waste the research slot right now. Instead, uh, we could get another uh, support company, but I really want passive bonuses, guys. Uh, we can get the mechanized. Yeah, we can do the Marines. I, I think that might be what we end up doing. I'm not seeing any other uh, passive bonuses other than planes that we could use. So yeah, let's go for the, uh, the passive bonus for the Marines. I think that'll help them quite a bit. It's gonna be 166 days, so they won't have that in time, of course, because uh, we get the war goal done on the 16th of October. So it's gonna be even later than I expected because of them backing down. It does result in a late 1938 conflict. But yeah, as soon as we get the war goal, we'll declare war on them. Uh, you know, probably about a week after, or a week before we get the war goal. Uh, so what's that, October, right? Yeah, so maybe early October, we're going to get the ship set up. Uh, get the submarines going uh, and uh, set up uh, the con the ships for the uh, invasion support. Uh, let's go and take all these guys. 
have them go into that train army. I meant to have all of them go in there. And pull out any large ships, which don't look like we have any here. All right. It's about another uh, two months for the war. We actually have a, a dockyard done. All right, so we already have uh, these filled out here. Uh, let's go ahead and do... I feel like we're going to want more light cruisers here. Uh, so we want to get more for light cruisers. Though I don't know how many submarines we got. Let me just double check on this real quick. Uh, see how many we have. We have uh, 59. We got plenty. I know a lot of those are older submarines, though. We need to get the improved infantry equipment one. Excellent. Nice uh, passive bonus for when the war starts. Uh, let's go and see if there's anything else we can get. Uh, yeah, there's no reason to really get that one right now. The, the you know temperature acclimation one is you know, not that important uh, early on. I think having the air one would be a little bit more helpful. Uh, so we're going to do operational integrity uh, just in case I end up getting that theorist. And as far as like the naval, but I mean, they're all pretty equal. Uh, I think this one gives it to you a little bit earlier, the strategic destruction. You get that naval mission, uh, naval mission efficiency up plus 15%. And that one's actually higher than the one that we get here. And again, you get it sooner. Where the hell is it? Yeah, it's right here. It's 10%. Uh, the one that you get on this one is also 10%. So this is the best one for the naval mission efficiency, which is what's going to be the most important thing for our, our planes. But we're going to go for this one, guys. Uh, you know, it, it's it's fine. And we get that, that bonus there. Uh, I don't know if we have any... We might even have doctrine bonuses, now that I'm thinking about it, that give us that. Okay, no. None of them are, are specified for... A particular, uh, yeah, no more uh, for a particular doctrine, so it doesn't really matter in that regard. Uh, but yeah, let's just let's just go in and get it, guys. Uh, this one will give us, uh, you know, we'll get more uh, experience. Uh, we'll have better interception detection. Uh, doesn't really help us out that much because we're probably not going to do interception detection. Uh, but yeah, getting that started, I think, would be helpful. Uh, we also might want to go and get our planes moving over there now, so I don't forget. Uh, so let's do that now. Uh, we're going to go and move the uh, fighters and close air support right on over to here. And then we'll probably move a bit more close air support as well. Uh, do we have another uh, fighter air wing that we can make use of? We only have 72 fighters right now. Yeah, might as well wait. They'll take casualties, so it's fine. Uh, and yeah, those guys are... We're still training up those naval bombers and those other close air support. And we have the Hispanic Alliance. I don't know that I've seen that before. And then start their own faction called the Hispanic Alliance. Yeah, I don't recall seeing that. We're seeing a lot of new stuff with this default setting. That's interesting. Uh, there's nobody else in their faction right now. Uh, but yeah, they got their own faction here. Let's we'll see what happens. Uh, right now, they're actually closest to fascist. I haven't played with the Mexican tree yet, so I don't really know how it all works. Uh... I'm really looking forward to, to trying out the, the Metzgen's new tree, though. It looks fun. Uh, it's pretty, uh, it's very much uh, one of those larger ones that has a lot of depth to it. So we've gotten that knocked out. And we could go ahead and get them mechanized. Uh, but again, that's not something we need right now. And we're not going to get the special forces stuff here. I think we might go for support companies, guys. I think that'd be the, the best one for us to get until 19... 39. Uh, get could get some, some more passive bonuses for the, the ships, but yeah, we're not going to be fighting anybody until the Americans, which will be much later. So I, I've been focusing so much on naval techs, but yeah, we won't be fighting anybody that has a navy anytime soon. Uh, so yeah, I, I suppose we'll just get something else. We're going to get the support companies. Uh, we'll do, do maintenance or logistic companies. Those are our options here. Uh, I suppose uh, the best option would be the maintenance companies uh, for us right now. Uh, we will want the logistics later, since there's going to be many places we attack where supply is going to be rough. Uh, but here in China, it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, we should build a supplier trips just fine. All right, so are all these guys like trained up and stuff? We don't have any experience to make any adjustments. Yeah, if they're all trained up, then this is what we're rocking. Uh, what we want to go ahead and do is go ahead and get the, the generals now. Uh, so let's go ahead and have, I think we'll have the Red Army under Yamashita. And they don't have any fortifications up along here. So, yeah, no reason to get that. It's not really going to help us right now. I uh, could get the scavenger so you can get the equipment capture ratio uh, gain. Uh, that's not much, though. It's very insignificant, actually. 
Might be better to just wait to see if he gets something else. Because remember, every little trait you pick in here limits you from getting other traits. So maybe we'll just wait a little bit. Uh, and then for the Marine uh, Army, I want... I, I would give him Tanaka. However, I kind of want to give him somebody who has... Like a... Oops, I didn't select that there. Uh, somebody who has something for supply. Like the Commando trait. Yeah, I think we're going to give him... Give him command. That'd be helpful. Uh, we could have also used him for the paratroopers. I guess that'd be an option as well. Yeah, we're not going to use any of those. All right, so we've got our generals assigned uh, there, but this army needs a general as well. Oops. Uh, so let's go ahead and give. Let's see who we want to give him. Uh, we can go and give him uh, Nishio. Yeah, I don't want to give him our best general because, of course, these are not our divisions. They don't deserve them. And these rebellious. Rebellious puppets, man. All right, guys. So that is actually, unfortunately, going to have to be the end of the episode, my friends. I do have to go, go work out, go eat, all that good stuff, so I can you know, go to work tomorrow. And uh, yeah, at least we had a Monday episode, even if it's a little bit shorter than we've been doing. And frankly, this is uh, longer than the videos used to be on my channel. Uh, the videos have gotten so so long, but you know they have allowed us to get series done much much quicker. Uh, which has been uh, really nice. We do more series per year uh, overall. Uh, so, yeah, the world is crazy, uh, and so we should probably take a look at what everybody's doing, and that's how we'll end the episode, uh, since we don't have casualties or anything to look at. So uh, let's just dip through the, the major powers and see uh, the ones that we can actually see. A lot of them have unknown focuses that the fascists do because it's, you don't get as much intel. An ocean-going navy here in the Soviet Union. Are we going to have a... Opposition in the sea by the Soviet Union got fair labor, sta fair labor standards act there. So we just need to look at everybody because it's possible to know what everybody's doing here with this setting uh, that we've got it on. Uh, and Yugoslavia did not join the Comintern. They actually started their own faction. I wonder if France will join that faction now, Tito's faction, or if they will end up joining the Soviet Union. be interesting to see. Uh, that's what the Hungarians are currently working on. Here's Romania. And Czechoslovakia. Uh, I think that's it in Europe. I don't think I forgot anybody. There's so many focus trees. Yeah, the Dutch. Yeah, to tank guns for the continent. Uh, Australia, New Zealand, China, and I guess you look at the warlords here. Communist China. I can't see what they're working on. And our puppets. All right. So those are all the focuses. I'm sure I forgot some. Yeah, South Africa. I forgot them. And, of course, Metsko. The Crusade Against Atheism. Okay, so they're going that route. All right, I remember reading about that in the Developer Diaries. Uh, so, yeah, this is going to be the end of the episode. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Sorry we didn't have the war with China, but, of course, they, they backed down, so we were able to get all this territory for free. Nice, easy uh, bit of territory there. Uh, so, remember, we can expect that uh, all the warlords will likely join China, and we'll have to fight them all at the same time. We'll try and get the Chinese capitulated as soon as possible. Remember, that's going to be in October, guys. Uh, so I hope you did enjoy the episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. I do hope to see you on the next episode, and thanks for watching, guys.